This is a gun, folks. A firearm. Now, I'm not insane. It's not loaded. That would be irresponsible, right? As many of you who watch Holton Wise TV are aware, uh, us here at Holton Wise typically take a very uh, right-leaning political stance when it comes uh, to many hot-button issues in the USA, specifically evictions, tenant-landlord relations. But today we're going to be talking about gun control, right? Why? Because gun control affects our lives, and it affects the lives of these tenants right here. What we have in my neck of the woods, right here in the Cleveland area, we got a tenant whose son killed a neighboring tenant in a drive-by shooting, right? But folks, this drive-by shooting, the neighboring tenant, wasn't a house down the street. It was the tenant in the other unit of the side-by-side -side duplex, folks. That's right. We have a tenant who did a drive-by shooting of his own house so he could kill his neighbor, right? We need to talk about this story about guns and what in the hell is going on when we're putting guns in the hands of tenants who should not be handling firearms. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and what we do here on the Tenants from Hell show is we show you guys the real-life experience of landlords and property managers, right? Uh, we, we got issues with those Wokies out there, right? You guys heard of the Wokies. You know the Wokies, the cancel rent culture, the landlords are evil, landlords are parasites, all them scumbags that are out there, right? They're just running their mouths about landlords and property managers, and things of that nature, right? Talking about things that just aren't true, aren't realistic, uh, are not um, accurate in terms of the property management business, right? The number one, number one point of this show is to bring real-life real estate uh, experiences, day-to-day -day information to the masses so you guys can see what it's really like. If you want to invest in real estate, you better know what the business is about and what they're saying out there in the liberal media and whatnot. It's not accurate, right? So that's, that's really what we do here on this show, right? And this happened. This happened in the Cleveland market, okay? We got a 17-year-old dead because a 16-year-old killed him, right? Killed him in a drive-by shooting. This happened in my area, right? Cleveland. Uh, the news articles, and I'll, I'll link them below the video so you can take a look. They don't really have uh, that much meat to them, okay? But this is Cleveland, folks. Ain't nobody got their ear to the ground more than Holton Wise when it comes to Cleveland tenants, right? We've had a couple uh, sources uh, talk to Holton Wise here, and we have a little bit more meat in details Uh in allegations of what really transpired uh, with this particular incident, right? And it's, it's shocking. It's ridiculous, right? So per my sources, folks, this is the long and short of what allegedly happened at this rental property, okay? We got two tenants, right, underage. So they're, they're technically, I guess, like not the tenants, tenants, right? Their parents are the tenants, right? They're living in a side-by-side -side duplex, okay? And uh, these two kids, right? We got a 17-year-old and a 16-year-old, right? These two kids end up in some disagreements, some problems. Uh, apparently, there was a little bit of drug dealing going on, okay? And one kid ended up stealing from the other kid. And unfortunately, one of these underage bastards had access to guns, right? Had access to firearms. Now, me being... Uh, so right-leaning in most of my political stances. I mean, hell, I'm wearing a Reagan Bush hat right now, folks. Come on, I make fun of the Wokies every day. Speaking of stuff like that, holy fuck do I hate the state of Oregon. Y'all know what I'm saying? Fuck those motherfuckers from Portland. Anyway, you'd think that I would be some crazy uh, NRA card-carrying maniac like, we should all have guns. No, 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 no. I'm not like that, folks. I mean, yes. Do I have a firearm? Yes, I have a firearm. Uh, 
the staff at Holton Wise, uh, many of our team members, when we're out in the field, we're almost always carrying firearms. May I have the light, please? Thank you. Fucking van. What a real piece of shit. Ballsy. Right? All right. So we are now cruising through uh, the hood. You get a lot of people. Just come let me take some ads out. It's just like, okay. There is no Jeremy. Jeremy with the... Yeah, there's no one yeah. outside anymore. Oh. Okay. All right, I just said it might take me a few trips. Is it it, okay? yeah. Firearms are very important uh, and can provide safety in the right situations when they're handled legally, responsibly, and appropriately, right? I would much rather have a firearm and never have to use it than not have it and end up being dead, okay? Thankfully, myself and the rest of the Holton Wise team, knock on wood, none of us have ever had to utilize any firearms when we were out in the field uh, working in some dangerous situations, right? So, yes, I am pro uh, having firearms in those situations, but I am also pro... Uh, common sense gun regulations. I'm smart enough to know that freaking teenage tenants running around with guns shooting each other over some dab pens in Cleveland ain't good for anybody, folks. We shouldn't be having uh, younger cats having access to guns. I am very much so uh, in favor uh, of common sense gun regulations, right? Because if you have somebody whose mental capacity is so low that they think it's a good idea to do a drive-by shooting, they shouldn't have a gun. But <laughs> to go one step further, if their mental capacity is so low, they think that they should do a shooting, a drive-by shooting of their own fucking house. Oh, gee, people, what do we, I mean, dude, literally. When I talk to you guys about investing in real estate, I talk to you guys about investing in duplexes. <laughs> and apparently, I'm going to have to uh, switch up my spiel now, okay? Uh, when I talk to investors about investing in duplex properties, okay, that is where it's uh, one property, one house essentially, but it's split up into two apartments. There's two kinds of apartments, two kinds of duplexes rather, right? There's the up-down where one apartment's upstairs, the other apartment's downstairs. And then there's another kind where it's a side-by-side -side duplex. So you have one unit here, one unit here, and then they have like multiple floors, right? Uh, I've always told investors that those are by far the better investment. If you have your choice between two types of duplexes, you should always go with the side-by-side -side duplex because typically the tenants are going to fight with each other less. They're going to have more space. They're going to pay more rent. There's going to be less disputes, and it's going to lead to lower turnover, lower vacancy, and more profit in your pocket for the landlord, right? However... Apparently, now I need to switch my spiel because the one negative, apparently, according to side-by-side -side duplexes, is they are more prone to the tenant in one half shooting up the other tenant in the other fucking half in a drive-by shooting. And just, you know, why we're talking on the topic, it, it's a fucking side-by-side -side duplex, bro. If you're, like, why do you need to get in, why do you need to leave the duplex to get in your car to get in the street and then start moving and then fire back at the house. Like, wouldn't you also have been able to accomplish the same goal? Like, if you're just like in your like bedroom or kitchen, and then you just point it at the wall, which then goes into their bedroom or their kitchen. I mean, that. I'm not saying anyone should ever do that. I'm just saying like this is like the type of. Uh, I mean, we're lacking some serious mental capacity here, folks, if, if like that, that plays out, right? So this is what uh, the sources that are on the ground in, in Cleveland have alleged happened, right? We have actual eyewitness people uh, who live in the area and uh, who are aware of the situation, right? We got a side-by-side -side duplex drive-by shooting. And I, just, I don't know the answer to this, but I just, how does that work? Like when the drive-by is over, like, so do you... Do you get out of the house, get into your car, go around the block, shoot up the house, which is your house, and then, like, continue down the block and then, like, loop around again and then just, like, like park in the driveway and then, like, go in and play some Call of Duty? Like, how does that work, folks? I don't know. The whole story's a mess. And that's why 
Uh, contrary to popular opinion, uh, I myself am in favor of a lot of more common sense gun regulations. I think it's a big problem in this country uh, that so many people lacking basic uh, mental capacity are able to access firearms and, uh, you know, perform these types of crimes. Like, I mean, I know this isn't possible, but like in a nutshell, like I'm pro me having a gun, but like nobody else in the room next to me having a gun. Like me having a gun doesn't really bother me, but like the dude down the hallway having a gun, I'm not necessarily a fan of. I'm sure as shit not a fan of some of these kind of tenants having guns. I mean, if you see some of the things uh, we deal with when we're working in some of these Cleveland neighborhoods, folks, and if you haven't seen some of the savagery that we bring to you on the Tenants from Hell show, please, I invite you to subscribe here on Holton Wise TV and take a look at some of the madness and the chaos that we deal with. Uh, you yourself might think, hey, maybe a little bit more common sense gun regulations. Uh, Maybe it makes a little bit more sense. I mean, how many stories have we heard about the landlord going door to door trying to collect rent and he ends up dead? Which, by the way, folks, pro tip for all those landlords out there, never, ever, ever, ever under any circumstances should you attempt to collect rent door to door. That is a surefire way to get yourself shot in the fucking face. Let me know what you guys think about tenants, guns, young kids, guns, gun regulations, my hat, the whole nine. Let's chat. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.